Today, we're going to talk about our beloved male cats. <laughs> yes, they have their own quirks and unique characteristics that make them even more special. Even if you think you know everything about male cats, I'm sure some of the facts we'll share today will surprise you. So, let's start with the 13 surprising facts about male cats. Before we begin, how about clicking the like button and subscribing to our channel? It really helps us keep bringing you amazing cat content. At some random point in this video, I want you to write your kitty's name in the comments. Let's see how many creative names we have here. Number 1, they are more likely to be left-handed. Just like humans, cats also have a dominant paw. This means they tend to use one paw more than the other for specific tasks, like reaching for food or toys. A cat's dominant paw can be determined by observing which paw it uses more frequently in different situations. Studies show that male cats tend to prefer using their left paw, while female cats tend to prefer the right paw. A specific study found that about 52% of male cats preferred the left paw, while only 30% preferred the right paw. The remaining 18% showed no significant preference for either paw. Number 2, they have a shorter life expectancy. The exact reason for this difference in life expectancy between male and female cats is not entirely clear. However, some studies suggest it may be related to differences in how male and female cats handle stress, with male cats potentially being more susceptible to stress-related conditions. However, it's important to remember that neutering can mitigate many of these risks and increase a male cat's life expectancy. Additionally, providing a healthy diet, regular veterinary care, and creating a safe and enriching environment can help ensure your male cat lives a long and healthy life. Number 3, Neutered Males Live Longer That's right, neutering can increase your male kitty's life expectancy. One of the main benefits of neutering is that it eliminates the risk of certain diseases that affect only male cats, such as testicular cancer. Neutering also has a significant impact on the behavior of male cats. Unneutered male cats are known to display aggressive behaviors, such as fighting with other cats and urine marking. These behaviors not only can lead to injuries that may, in turn, result in infections and other complications but also increase the likelihood of a cat wandering far from home, putting them at risk of accidents. Neutered cats, on the other hand, are generally calmer and less prone to fighting or putting themselves in dangerous situations, which can contribute to a longer life. Additionally, neutering can reduce the likelihood of a cat contracting certain infectious diseases commonly transmitted through bites during fights. Number 4, they are not paternal, with one exception. The fourth point about the paternal behavior of male cats is that, in most species of cats, males do not show interest in their newborn offspring, leaving the care to the mother. However, Siamese cats are an exception. Males of this breed are known to be more affectionate and attentive to their offspring than males of other breeds. They even lie down and take care of their kittens, a behavior that is quite rare among male cats. This can be attributed to the extremely affectionate and caring nature of Siamese cats. Number 5, they have a mating call. The fifth point is about the mating call of male cats. Just like female cats in heat emit a distinct meow, unneutered male cats also have a unique mating call, known as, Ketlin. They make this sound to communicate their availability for mating to female cats and to alert other male cats to their presence in their territory. It's an important form of communication in the social lives of cats. Number 6, unneutered male cats are sometimes called toms or tom cats. The sixth point is about the designation of unneutered male cats. The origin of this nickname is attributed to the popularity of a book called The Life and Adventures of a Cat, which tells the story of a promising cat named Tom. Over time, the term Tom came to be used to refer to male cats, especially those that are not neutered, and the term Tomcat emerged as slang for oversized male behaviors. Number 7. The Maine Coon breed is known to be the largest domesticated cat breed. 
Males of this breed are particularly large, weighing up to 25 pounds, which is more than twice the average weight of a healthy domestic cat. Additionally, a well-grown adult male can measure from 19 to 40 centimeters in length. In fact, one Maine Coon holds a Guinness World Record for the world's longest domestic cat, measuring 3 feet and 11.2 inches. Number 8. Male cats are known to harm kittens. The ninth point is a bit disturbing, but it's an aspect of the behavior of male cats in the wild. Wild male cats are known to kill kittens, including their own, for various reasons. One reason is to reduce competition in their territory, as this behavior stems from the instinct to eliminate a rival's offspring to prevent competition from growing. Another reason is that male cats can mistake kittens for prey due to their small size and rapid movements, triggering a hunting instinct. Number 9. Male cats are more solitary in nature. Male cats tend to be more solitary than females, as they prefer to live alone to avoid competing for resources like food and mates. However, this usually doesn't apply to domesticated males, as neutering reduces the desire to mate, and they don't need to compete for food since it's provided by their owners. Number 10. The most popular male cat name is Oliver. This was determined through a report that compared the database records from various sources, including the Cat Fanciers Association, Wide Pet Insurance, and the website FunnyCatNames.com. The name Oliver was the most popular male cat name in 2021, maintaining its top position since 2020. It seems that many cat owners have a special fondness for this name for their feline friends. Number 11. A male cat's temperament can influence the temperament of its kittens. Studies show that kittens tend to inherit personality traits from their parents. For example, if a male cat is bold and confident, it's likely that its kittens will also have similar traits. If a male cat is shy, its kittens may inherit that shyness. This suggests that a father's genes play an important role in determining a kitten's temperament. And now, for our bonus topic, number 13, male cats love to play hunt. That's right, our beloved male kitties have a stronger hunting instinct than females. They love to play with toys that mimic prey, like plush mice and feathers. So, if you have a male kitten at home, like my adorable Simba, make sure to have plenty of these toys to keep him entertained. Which of these facts about male cats did you find most surprising? Let us know in the comments below. And speaking of comments, we have an exciting announcement to share with you. Attention, if you are a cat owner, I urgently need to share this information with you. There is a behavior that may seem harmless at first but could be putting your cat's life in danger. So, pay attention. Some cats have the behavior of urinating all over the house. This, by itself, is already a big nuisance. However, the issue goes much deeper. This behavior is called spraying by American experts. Basically, your pet is trying to mark its territory. The big problem, apart from the unpleasant odor in your home, is that this behavior can lead your cat to run away from home, seeking new territories to mark. And this is one of the main causes of cats running away, often getting lost and never returning home. Worse, many of them end up suffering accidents, and in the worst cases, losing their lives. If you've been through this, you probably know that spray products rarely work. The good news is that there is a homegrown and natural method to correct this behavior and keep your kitty completely safe and your house smelling fresh. We greatly appreciate you for dedicating your time to watch this video, and we look forward to seeing you again in the next episode. Before we say goodbye, how about clicking the like button if you've gained new knowledge today. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It really supports us in continuing to share our deep love for felines with all of you. Until next time, dear cat enthusiasts.